Did you know that astronauts drink recycled pee? Wait, what? What happens to your body in space? Since I'm definitely going to space, I needed to research what happens to the human body, and there are some crazy things. Did you know that astronauts on the International Space Station drink recycled pee? Houston. That's gonna be a deal breaker for me. Each astronaut requires about a gallon of water a day for drinking, preparing food, and cleaning their bodies, like brushing their teeth. And since water is heavy and hard to get up into space, NASA has developed a way to reclaim 98% of the water they send up there. The sweat and urine of the astronauts are captured and sent through a complex cleaning process in which the water is extracted and it is recycled to be used again. It may sound gross, but after it is purified, the space water is cleaner than city water on Earth. As they say in space, today's coffee is tomorrow's coffee. Speaking of pee, without the pull of gravity, an astronaut doesn't get the urge to pee until the bladder is completely full. So, they schedule bathroom breaks throughout the day. It's not just your pee that acts differently without gravity, it's all liquids. So what happens if you cry in space? Without gravity, the tears don't roll down your face as they do on Earth. Instead, these liquid blobs of tears stick to your eyeballs, blurring your vision. Wow. The earth looks so beautiful, I could just cry. What the heck? Same with sweat. It sticks to you in blobs and has to be toweled off. Then, like the pee, it's recycled. Did you know that you get taller when you're in space? When not being dragged down by gravity, the vertebrae expand and relax, and the astronauts can grow up to two inches taller. But when you go back to Earth, you lose that extra height in a couple of months. I'm feeling four foot nine. Ooh. One thing you won't find astronauts doing is cracking open a can of fruit beer. Carbonation in space don't mix. <gasps> Without gravity, the bubbles just hang around in the astronauts' stomachs, unlike what happens on Earth. <clears throat> the astronauts also found that forcing themselves to burp would also cause them to vomit. So NASA put a big no on all carbonated drinks. And finally, because I know you're wondering, vacuum. That's how you poop in space. Space toilets form an airtight seal around the astronaut and the toilet seat so that nothing can escape and float around the spacecraft. Yeah. A vacuum system pulls the waste into a bag for disposal. So, now you know. Were any of these a deal breaker for you? If so, that means more space for me. If you have an episode request, email us at mazyfacts at gmail.com. Bye! Maisy Facts. They're brain snacks.